So I want to do another video about NoFap because I think some of you misunderstood what I said and, and it's easily done. So when I said uh, NoFap was BS um, and it doesn't help you to get over your social anxiety and depression, I stand by what I say, but at the same time, I'm not saying don't do NoFap because obviously it has its benefits. So let me just explain it and break it down again for people that didn't understand what I said. So for people who've got social anxiety like most of you and who find it hard to face that fear and get the relationship you want or the life that you want or the friends or that the confidence mainly uh, to be able to you know speak to people and connect with people and get over that fear. What I'm saying is doing NoFap alone is not enough. You know, it's great to abstain from uh, masturbation if you want to develop discipline, you want to not do that. That's brilliant, that takes character and strength. But that alone isn't enough. You still got to go out and speak to people. That's what I meant. And I think there are some people who they rely on NoFap too much. They almost use NoFap as a hiding place where it's something that can be very positive. And people do that of intermittent fasting. They're like, I'm fasting now. But then they don't train hard, they don't rest properly, they don't do cardio, they don't have a proper training regime, they don't really know what they're doing. And although, yes, they're developing some uh, discipline and, and, a, and a good habit through controlling their eating habits and fasting, they're kind of suffering in other areas. And that's, that's my distinction with NoFap. You know, social anxiety is, is something that can only really be overcome through socialising. How, whatever route we take, at some point we've got to come back to the truth. And that's what I was saying. You know, for a lot of guys, even you guys said it yourself, you said that you've been doing no fat, you felt better for doing it, but you still don't have a girlfriend. And that's where I come in and call people out on their BS and say, look, the problem here is you're not taking action. You're doing no fat and you're relying on that to meet a woman when you can't just rely on that. And I know there's a lot of guys on the internet saying, well, since I've been doing no fat and not being masturbating, I'm getting a lot more attention from women looking at me. I'm not going to dispute that. Because if that's happening, that's true, and I'm happy for you. But you still need to learn to act on that. You can't just wait for a woman to come and choose you because you could be waiting for anything in life. You've, you've got to play your part. So that's, that's what I mean when I say it. So I don't want to deter any guy from doing it. I'm not saying that. If it's in your heart and you want to do no fat, brilliant. I've, you've got my support, do it. But if you've got social anxiety and you've got fears of talking to people, going out, taking action then you're going to need to do some public speaking. You're going to need to exercise. These, these are the things that are going to take you to the next level. And obviously, you know, some of you said, and um, I, won't, I won't argue with you, if you're doing both, if you're doing no fap, and you're going out taking massive action and you're socialising, I have no problems with that. Then you're doing it all right as far as I'm concerned because you're using no fap in a positive way. You're not using no fap as a hiding place. Because a lot of guys do it. It's part of psychological rationalization. It's using something that's positive, you know, creating a whole identity around it so you can avoid facing things in your life that really scare you. So I, like I said, I sense it and see it. I'm not saying all the guys, but there's a lot of guys who do no fap so they can, their ego can get some kind of validation. They can feel some success, but they're avoiding public speaking. They're avoiding communicating with their family. They might not be in a YouTube video, they might not be going to the gym, they might, be, they might not be taking responsibility in their practical life where they need to be to move forward and have a better self-esteem. So it's all about the way you relate to something. And I suppose that's a rule of thumb for anything. Like I said, it's like guys who, get, I've been there myself, I've, I've made these mistakes, I speak from experience. Guys who say like, I'm taking a lot of protein now, they buy the powder, but they don't make any progress, their physique's the same because they're not training right, they're not training hard enough, or they're not going consistently enough, they're not resting, they haven't got the knowledge. So that's when I'd say drinking proteins, bollocks. But someone might go, what do you mean protein? And you've misunderstood me. Yes, protein's important for building muscle, you need protein, but you need the hard training with it. And that's what I'm saying about NoFap, you need the action with the NoFap. You can't just do NoFap. Uh, of, course of course I do believe in luck, and I know we do live in, in an incredible universe where there's many possibilities and sometimes things do happen. It's happened in my life where, you know, maybe a woman will come into your life, but that's not going to happen for every guy. You can't, 
I wouldn't leave it to chance. I would, I, you still need the value of taking action, working hard, and we do live in a practical world where we need to communicate with people. So um, by all means, do the no fat, get the essence out of it, get the best success you can, but make sure you're facing your fears in other areas. And if you're doing that, then we have nothing left to talk about. I, I'm, not agree, I'm not disagreeing with you, but there's many, I believe, that need to hear my message. They need to wake up. And then because I've always thought the actual idea is brilliant. I support it. I did a video years ago. One of you asked me, how come you did a video saying it's good and then you did a video saying... Because that was my perspective back then. Obviously, I grow. You change your mind sometimes. There's positives and there's negatives. And it's down to the individual. So some people can be using NoFap in a brilliant way and they're, and they're going, doing great in life. Others, not so brilliant because of the denial of responsibility, taking action and being more social. And as I said, with social anxiety, you need exposure. You need to talk to people. Is There's one thing not fapping, um, imp improving your spiritual development, but just staying there and expecting the whole world to facilitate you, I think it's a bad attitude. It's very naive. It will only get you so far. You still got to communicate. So why not get in a great place do no fat, abstain from that, go in the gym, improve your fashion, everything that you want to improve, finances, whatever, relationships, and then meet a great woman. I'm, I'm just confused that there's a lot of guys in the no fat um, who are doing it, right, who still are not getting a girlfriend and that's what they want. So something must be going wrong because um, that's not a problem for me and a lot of my clients, people that I know. So I'm not knocking them, I'm just trying to help them, I'm just speaking my mind. I'm not, I'm not one for just not saying something when I, I see something and I think this is true, it needs, it needs to be said as part of being a teacher and someone who's a, you know, has got the, a mind of their own, critical thinking, encouraging people. So for, you know, I'm not speaking to the guys who are doing no fat and have got a girlfriend, they're, do, they're, they're succeeding, I wish them brilliant, I, I have nothing to say on that. I'm talking to the guys who do no fat and they're not happy. They're not getting nowhere in life. They haven't got a relationship with a woman. They might be under the illusion. They might be a little bit self-deluded that, okay, I'm getting some attention from women because I'm, and it's making me feel good. But how long can you live with that? You still need a real woman. It's not enough or just, you know, you need friends. And that's really what I'm pointing out here. Like I said, I also speak from experience. I've made these mistakes at certain points in my life and I've corrected them. So I'm going to share that as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's all about the, the way you use it. Same with many things like, you know, all these little, like I said, intermittent fasting. I did that for a while, got some benefits from it and then realized I'm not just going to rely on this. There are other things like hard training, rest, nutrition um, sometimes. So it's just basically using it to your advantage and not, because you can hide, there's many hiding places, right? And people often do it. So I like to challenge you and say, why haven't you done public speaking yet? Why haven't you gone on a date? Why haven't you um, got the relationship that you want or a relationship at the moment? And if you're feeling so good, let's be honest, guys, then there shouldn't really be any excuses as to why you can't get a relationship or can't improve in areas of your life. But don't just get addicted to not fapping feeling good because you're not fapping which is good but then not taking any action because all you're going to be is a guy who's on his own feels good because he's not fapping but has no relationships in his life that can't be healthy i'm sorry i can't agree on that for your mental health for, and for the value you give other people so that that's my point i feel like i've articulated it a lot better in this video because some people did misunderstood what, what i said and that's fair enough that's why communication is important and you know, my mind is, um, I've got, I'm quite a, a deep thinker, I process things, I have my opinion on it, I learn, and sometimes I will express it in how I understand it, not everybody's going to get it, so I wanted to re-explain it, and, and I enjoy this subject, like, as I said, the, I think the essence of it is very positive, but it's been around for years, again, people just made that name up, which is fine, you know, abstaining from uh, masturbation and, and, and things like that have been around for many, many years before NoFap. It just got recycled. So I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, like, share, leave your thoughts in the box below. Even if you disagree with me, I still, as long as you're respectful, I respect that. Everyone's got their own opinion. At the end of the day, I'll leave you with this question. Is NoFap working for you, making your life better? If it is, great. 
If it's not, then it's down to you. Something needs to change. Um, so, um, yeah, all right? Become fearless. Talk soon.